Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Throwing his Cousins. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They run. Cook. He'll have a first down past the 40. As he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. That'll be a pickup of ten as they try to recover from this ten-point deficit. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second and very short, Cousins. It's complete to Diggs. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pickup, first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Cook. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Cousins from the gun on third. Eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. On the carry, it's Cook. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. It's caught. Smith. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Now Cousins on fourth down. And that is going to...
to be incomplete. Or it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this Browns defense stands tall. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. Third and long for Mayfield. And he's got the hook up to Landry. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Marcus Sherrill's back deep for Minnesota. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Working out of the gun. Cousins. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A first down throw for Cousins. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Demarius Randall, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there, and sure enough, this one's going the other way. Mayfield looks to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Mayfield. He finds his target, Beckham. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Mayfield now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. Eight of ten. It's first down. Let's go. Now Mayfield. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And now it's second down. But well, one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there just before halftime. 42 yards. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. 
I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. They'll have a first down past the 40. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. From the gun, here's Cousins. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. The D-tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in for the sack. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Now Cousins. That's complete to the receiver field. Touchdown, Vikings! Adam Thielen. 37 yards as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Mayfield throwing quickly out to Beckham. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Chubb on the counter. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. On the move to his left. He's got his man. That's Landry. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Mayfield now, flushed out right. And he completes it to Hunt. Just what the Browns needed there, good for a gain of 17. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 44-yard line. A run with Chubb on first down, not going to be a good one. He won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Play fake. Mayfield. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Mayfield brings him up first and ten, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start, trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. 
A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. The tackle made by Eric Murray. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Give him six yards in the first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the 45 on second down, Cousins. And Diggs has it. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On first down, Cook. About three yards there to the 27. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. From the 27, Cousins. And he slings one that's incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And now it's third down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh, yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. And Bailey able to knock it through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. The Browns take over first and ten. The Browns drive about to get started. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11-yard pickup. Let's go, boys. Let's go. They run again on first down. Chubb. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. to throw Mayfield. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Hey. 
Mayfield now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw, trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Mayfield. That's out to Chubb. Complete. It'll be a pickup of only a yard. And they're going to face a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, Mayfield. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Njoku, 55 yards. And the Browns have taken the lead. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that makes it a 17-10 score. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way we, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Again, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and inches, Cousins setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That's another Vikings first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. First down, here's Cousins. It's complete to Diggs. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Watch the whip. Two, two. Recon, 132 fighter. 
Cousins to throw. And this one hurt in by Rudolph. A good pick up there. 20. One yards. That's another Vikings first down. First and ten at the 13 yard line. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And we got to get to the ball, team. We got to get to the ball. Let's keep moving. Check four. Check four. Check four. Check four. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Denzel Ward, pro bowler as a rookie, there to bat that one away. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here 100 times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Watch that quick, watch 61, match box lights. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun, and he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. You got him. A game of only a yard. It's fourth down. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. I got you, son. I got you, son. Black, white. 56, by 56. Get that back. Cousins to throw for it on four. And that is incomplete. Demarius Randall that time there to knock it free. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses and got to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And again, it's Chubb. Pushes him over. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Losing four yards that time. And now it's fourth down. They tried to run right into the teeth of the defense on third down, but um, 
Looked like those teeth were pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> they were having absolutely none of it stuffed him for a loss. Yeah, couldn't get any leverage up front and move people aside in order to run the ball. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And it was Baker Mayfield who led the way. The number one pick in 2018, he showed why he was so coveted. And it was interesting because you remember headed into the draft in 2018, the projections on where Baker Mayfield was going to go, it varied. But rarely did anyone suggest he would go number one overall. And he did showed exactly why. It's not just how he plays. It's not just his arm and his vision. It's the leadership. It's the toughness, it's the moxie that he exhibits, and his teammates just feed off of it. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Minneapolis, good night, everybody.